Junior. Hey, Junior kids. Let's learn about 2D shapes today. A 2D shape is flat, like a drawing. It has sides and corners, and you can see it on paper. Let's check what a shape is made of. Let's learn what is a side. A side is a straight line that makes the shape. Shapes like squares and triangles have sides we can count. Now let's see what are vertices. Vertices are the corners of a shape, where two sides meet and make a point. This is a square. Well, let's see how many sides a square has. One, two, three, four. Square has four sides. Now let's count the vertices of a square. One, two, three, four. Square has four vertices. So, we can say that square has four sides and four vertices. Square is a shape where all four sides are equal in length and all angles are right angles. This is a triangle. Let's see how many sides a triangle has. One, two, three. Triangle has three sides. Now let's count the vertices of a triangle. One, two, three. Triangle has three vertices. So, we can say that triangle has three sides and three vertices. A triangle is a shape with three sides and three corners. And the sides can be of different lengths. This is a trapezoid. Let's see how many sides a trapezoid has. One, two, three, four. Trapezoid has four sides. Now let's count the vertices of a trapezoid. One, two, three, four. Trapezoid has four vertices. So, we can say that a trapezoid has four sides and four vertices. A trapezoid is a shape with only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. This is a rhombus. Let's see how many sides a rhombus has. One, two, three, four. Rhombus has four sides. Now let's count the vertices of a rhombus. One, two, three, four. Rhombus has four vertices. So, we can say that a rhombus has four sides and four vertices. A rhombus is a shape with all sides equal in length and opposite angles equal. This is a rectangle. Let's see how many sides a rectangle has. One, two, three, four. Rectangle has four sides. Now let's count the vertices of a rectangle. One, two, three, four. Rectangle has four vertices. So, we can say that a rectangle has four sides and four vertices. A rectangle is a shape with opposite sides equal in length and four right angles. This is a parallelogram. Let's see how many sides a parallelogram has. One, two, three, four. Parallelogram has four sides. Now let's count the vertices of a parallelogram. One, two, three, four. Parallelogram has four vertices. So, we can say that a parallelogram has four sides and four vertices. A parallelogram is a shape where opposite sides are equal and parallel, and the angles can be slanted. This is a circle. Let's see how many sides a circle has. Hmm, let's look closely. Circle has no straight sides at all. Now let's count the vertices of a circle. One, wait, there are none. Circle has zero vertices. So, we can say that a circle has no sides and no vertices. A circle is a round shape with no corners and no straight edges. This is an oval. Let's see how many sides an oval has. Hmm, no straight sides here. Oval has no straight sides. Now let's count the vertices of an oval. One. Wait, there are none. Oval has zero vertices. So, we can say that an oval has no sides and no vertices. An oval is a stretched out round shape.
kind of like an egg. 